Step one, put on goggles and gloves. Rinse your frog thoroughly with water in the sink. Place the preserved frog in a dissecting tray. Pin the back, the arms and the legs. Angle the pins away from the body of the frog so they will not interfere with your dissection. You're gonna begin the first skin incision. You're gonna lift the skin using the forceps by midway between the rear legs of the frog. Using the scalpel, make a cut along the center or midline of the frog, bisecting it equally. Notice I'm pulling up on the skin as I cut as to not damage the muscle underneath. Continue the skin incision by using scissors to cut all the way up to the frog's body to the neck. To avoid cutting yourself, cut in a direction away from your hands and body. Make horizontal incisions just above the rear legs and between the front legs of the frog. I'm just using the scalpel instead of the scissors, but I'm being sure to pull up on the skin with the tweezers. You're going to cut a small piece of skin and put it on your placement. That size. Pin the skin flaps out of your way. We're going to begin the first muscle incisions. Begin the abdominal muscle incision by using the forceps to lift the muscle away midway between the rear legs of the frog. Next, use the scalpel to start the incision in the direction of the chip. There's carefully continue the incision up the midline of the frog, but do not cut deeply as you damage the organs. As you can see, I cut a little too deeply on mine and I damage the liver. A little bit of liver damage there. It went a little too deep. The muscle is not as thick as you think it is. We're going to turn the scissors sideways to cut through the bones in the chest. This should prevent damage to the heart or other internal organs. When your scissors reach a point just below the frog's neck, you have cut far enough. Bone right in here, turn the scissors to avoid damaging the organs. Cut a small piece of the muscle off and put it on your placement. Wait, hold on. There we go. All right, then you're going to pin the muscle flaps back. To observe the frog's organs. Move them very carefully to get a good observation, but do not damage them. Also use your fingers, just be careful, the probe is very sharp, you don't want to poke through your gloves. Being very careful to keep everything in place, we don't want to mix up the organs for the other groups or they'll be thoroughly confused. Large, prominent, dark brown organ in the middle of the trunk. Liver. Remove the liver carefully, snip with your scissors, and put it on your placemat.
Identify the lungs, two small sacs on either side of the midline and partially hidden under the liver. Lung number one Trace. kind of slips behind the organs here. Lung number two on this side also slipped behind the organs here. So here are the frog's lungs right here. Listen, please, I'm on your place now. I skipped. One. Under the liver, find the gallbladder. Make sure you cut the base of this as to not release the liquid that's inside. I released the liquid that was inside. <laughs> <laughs> Identify the heart. It's going to be covered by a membrane. I didn't already cut it. The heart consists of a single thick walled ventricle and two right and left anterior thin walled atria. With forceps, lift the heart and cut it and put it on your placement. top of the liver is still in place, so I'm going to remove the top of the liver so we can start to access some more of the organs. So that's still part of the liver. I didn't do a great job getting rid of that to begin with. And now we are locating the esophagus, which is right here, the top of the stomach. So here's the stomach coming up to the top of the esophagus. I'm just going to clear out some of this liver debris, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Membrane also attached to it. You want to be careful so that we don't get the hard piece of the esophagus. Follow the esophagus down to the stomach, which is a whitish and J-shaped. The stomach connects with the esophagus and the small intestines. We already took the esophagus out. You're going to carefully use the scissors to remove the stomach and put it on your placement. Okay, so here's the stomach. The small intestines are starting right here. The pancreas is a thin yellowish tan ribbon between the small intestine and the stomach. Carefully use your scissors to remove the pancreas and put it on your placement. It's very difficult to distinguish the difference of the pancreas with the small intestines. We're going to take a small piece of it off. It's not going to be very easy to distinguish, so we remove the stomach right here. Underneath the stomach in here, right in there is still part of the pancreas. I got most of it off, so that will be good enough for us. The small intestines attached to the stomach, which has been removed. Find the small intestines and the large intestine, which enter enters the colloquia. To remove the small intestine and put it on your placement. Okay, the small intestines kind of all bunched up. It is attached to some of the other organs with a membrane. So I'm gonna very carefully, I very carefully use my scalpel to disconnect my small intestines. Next, you're going to remove the large intestine and put it on your placement. So the large intestine obviously hooked up to the small intestine. Use my forceps to pull it out a little bit because it's going to attach to the cloaca. So I'm going to use my scalpel to remove surrounding organs. And there is a chunk of the large intestine. We're going to remove the spleen now and put it on the placement. Behind the intestines comes 
cut out with my scissors carefully to not damage the surrounding organs. So at this point in the dissection, two things are kind of in the way. These fat bodies, I'm just gonna kind of move them out of the way. I'm gonna get a paper towel and just mop up some of this excess liquid that's blocking my view to some of the organs on the dorsal side. Here is this brown section right here, the kidneys actually attached to the dorsal wall. Um, might make more sense just to leave it, see if I can get a little piece of it out of there with the scalpel. A kidney. <laughs> so we're gonna identify if our frog is a male or female. Our frog is a female. Here's the ovaries that are filled with eggs. Going to remove the ovaries. Next, we'll be removing the fat bodies. The, since we are, this is a female here, these are the oviducts. oviducts. frog and we're going to flip it on its belly so we can look at the eyes. The pins are difficult to remove. If you take your index and middle fingers and wrap them around the top of the T and slowly pull out, it works much better than trying to go fast. So slowly, just like that. Okay, you're gonna identify the eyes which have a non-movable membrane, or non-movable upper and lower lid, but can be covered with a nicotating membrane, which serves to moisten the eye. Locate the tympanum behind the eye. Examine the external narrows, which are the nostrils. Insert a probe into the external narrows and note that it protrudes for one of the paired small air openings, the internal nares inside the mouth cavity. My cut. Yeah, flip the frog on its back, open your frog's mouth very wide, cut the vertex corners of the jaw so it opens wide. Cutting right at the corner of the jaw, as you would like the math terminology there, <laughs> vertex. Now we can actually open it up. Insert a probe into the glottis and observe its passage into the trachea. So right here, go down through, you can see the probe coming through. So the trachea is right here. We've removed the esophagus going down into the stomach. Okay, identify the tongue attached to the lower jaw's anterior front end. Use your scissors and remove the tongue and put it on the placement. Station tube opening into the angle of the jaws. The tubes lead to the ears. The station tubes equalize air pressure in the ears. Little holes right there, one of the jaws, hole, hole station tubes. There they are. Examine the maxillary teeth located along the rim of the upper jaw. Another set of teeth, the vormir teeth, is present just behind the mid portion of the upper jaw. Um, locate the glottis, the slit through which air passes in and out of the trachea, the short tube from the glottis to the lung. And if I find the beginning of the esophagus, the rest has already been cut out. Esophagus up here and remove the rest from our frog. Flip the frog back onto its belly. Follow the diagram below to examine the brain. Use the scalpel to slice into the crease that you see extending down the top of the head. Sorry. 
starting at the neck end of the first slice. Use scissors to cut at right angles towards both sides of the frog's head. Start with the scalpel and now move to the scissors. When I peeled back the skull, I ran my scalpel down the skull a few more times. Open and there's the brain. 